I've got a special treat for you today, and that's because today, August 15th, 2023, Tesla launched an all new level two charger called the Universal Wall Connector. And this charger is unique because it can charge any electric vehicle sold in North America today without the need of an adapter. Well, kind of. And Tesla was kind enough to ship me one of them. I'm one of the first people in the world to get one of these units. It literally just arrived at my house 10 minutes ago. So let's take a look at this new charger offered by Tesla and see what makes it so unique. Well, here she is. And as you notice on the front, it says universal wall connector, whereas previous Tesla chargers said the Tesla wall connector. And the interesting thing I found about it is I actually have a um, Tesla wall connector here in a box unopened. So the height of the boxes look the same, but take a look at the width. So let's get a little bit closer. As you can see, the universal wall connector, at least the box is substantially thicker than the box that the Tesla wall connector is in. So now let's open this guy up and take a look at exactly what comes in the box and figure out why is it so much thicker than the box that the Tesla wall connectors comes in. All right, let's give it a go. Okay, looks the same. It is much thicker than the previous version. Wow. Let's see what we have here, the wall template. Okay, make sure there's nothing else in here. Nope, nothing else in here. Okay, set this over here. Pretty simple stuff. Okay, so as you can see, Look at how thick this unit is. I actually should take the other one out of the box to show you as a comparison. I'll do that uh, in a minute, but let's just take a look at everything else here. Okay, regular Tesla connector, but that's not where the secret sauce is. Let me use this knife here, cut this stuff off. Okay. All right, so basically you get the unit, it's all assembled. You get the wall template here, and this shows you how to mount it on the wall. It's a good template for where you uh, drill your holes. And it really depends on how you are going to power the unit. You can power the unit from the top, from the bottom, from the so left side, or from the right side. So depending on where you're gonna bring the power in, uh, that uh, will affect what screws you use to attach this to the wall. You could also power it directly through the back like I have here. If you notice, you, there, you can't see any uh, wires where this wall connector is mounted. That's because I'm coming in through the back. It's the cleanest insulation and one that I recommend if you can. It's no big deal if you have to come in from the top of the bottom with, let's say, conduit if you're mounting this on a concrete wall or something like that. Uh, but it looks cleaner when you got the power coming in right through the back. Won't affect how you use the unit. Um, that's going dicta to be dictated on uh, how much power supply you have and what circuit you put it on. Um, but this can uh, deliver up to 48 amps, just like the Tesla wall connector. And you can also derate the power inside if you don't have a 48 amp supply. Of course, if you, have, if you want it to deliver 48 amps, you need to be on a 60 amp circuit because you can only deliver 80% of the uh, circuit's maximum load. So 80% percent of 60 amps is 48 amps. Um, but what we'll do, we'll go into that a lot more. This is really gonna be an unboxing and ooh, take a look at this cool new thing, um, rather than uh, a full review. I don't have time to do the review. My reviews take me like two weeks uh, to do. Uh, I'm not just uh, like some of the YouTube influencers out there that unbox something and then plug it in and plug it into the car. So, oh my God, look how great this is. This is fantastic, use it. Now we actually review things and test them here to make sure before you buy it, it's a good solid product, which all so far, all Tesla products have been in my experience at least. So here's the unit. 
Now the secret sauce is here because, and I don't even know how this works. This is kind of like the Tesla Magic Dock. It actually is. It's the Tesla Magic Dock of level two chargers. And it built into it is a, let me see how this works. Guess you press this button and pull it out. Now, maybe it has to be hot in order to do that. But as you can see inside here, there's actually an adapter that's built into the unit. So if you need to charge a J1772 equipped vehicle, you pull it out and you can plug it into your J1772. If you don't, if you have a Tesla vehicle, you just take this and it pulls right out and you charge your Tesla vehicle. So let me fiddle around with this a little more. Maybe I can get it to unlock now. It might have to be powered up in order to unlock the J1772 uh, part of this adapter. But for now, let's take a quick look at the uh, Tesla wall connector. I'm gonna take that out of the box and we'll see the difference in thickness. I wanna show you just how much thicker this is than a regular Tesla wall connector. Okay, here's the Tesla wall connector. I'm not gonna take it fully out of the box, but it's, it's the same thing. Look at the thickness of this compared to the new universal wall connector. It's a lot thicker. I don't have the exact dimensions yet, but you know, I would say for sure, it's gotta be a, a solid two inches thicker or maybe 1.75 inches, something like that. Um, but it's definitely a lot thicker. It's gonna hang off the wall a lot. But you know, the Tesla wall connector is such a compact unit. I mean, this is, this is my top rated unit. At least it was for Tesla owners of 2023. It's a fantastic unit at a great price. Um, and the fact that this one's a little bit more chunky really doesn't make it big because there's a lot of chargers out there that are much bigger and clunkier than this that can't even deliver the 48 amps that this can deliver. Okay, so now let me take a look at this and see if I can get this uh, adapter to unlatch without actually installing it. Um, but if I can't, I do have a short video clip that Tesla sent me that I'll be able to cut into this video and show you exactly how it works. This video, as well as all of the videos here on State of Charge, is sponsored by QMerit. Once I've helped you decide which electric vehicle charger you're gonna buy, then follow the link in the description of my videos and have QMerit install it. All right, so I removed the rear cover off. And you can see here, it's interesting, <laughs> you can see the outline of a J1772 connector because that's where the, uh, it's like a built-in adapter snaps into there. Unfortunately, I can't get it out. Only the Tesla connector will move. This locks in place. The unit needs to be energized in order for the adapter to be released. The way you do it is there's a little tab on the adapter and you push the tab in and pull the adapter and the connector out all as one. And that's how you would charge a J1772 equipped vehicle. But if you need to use the North American charging standard or NAX adapter, you just simply pull it right out. It releases by itself. And as always, the connector will automatically open a Tesla charge port by pressing a button on the end of the connector. Think about how good this is as a product. Uh, now that most of the major automakers are transitioning over to the NAX connector, which is this connector here, there's a lot of vehicles out there that have J1772 chargers now, and they're thinking down the road, well, I'm going to get a second EV in a year or so. It's going to have the NAX. Now what do I have to do? I have to buy two different chargers or I have to use adapters. Uh, and, you know, it's not great to introduce adapters. And I know this is technically an adapter, but it is something that's made by Tesla. And the level two Tesla adapters that they give out with all of their vehicles so that Tesla vehicles can charge on J1772 vehicles is such a robust uh, adapter. It's made so well, I know it's gonna last long and I have the utmost confidence that this will also. Uh, the other adapters, the third party adapters you buy online, you, you don't really know how long they're gonna last and it's kind of inconvenient to have to remove this adapter all the time. This is built into it, it's baked into it. So if you have a Tesla vehicle, and then you have another vehicle, that's J1772. Or in the future, you can have two non-Tesla vehicles, but one uses J1772 and one uses the NAX connector. Now you just need this one unit and you can charge both of them without having to fiddle with adapters. You just, the Tesla pulls out. If you wanna use the J1772, that's just gonna pull out naturally. It really is 
the magic dock of level two charging. And um, you can tell I'm excited about it because I, I wasn't expecting this. And uh, it's, it's rare that I get surprised with charging equipment. I kind of think I have a pulse on this industry and know what's coming down the road. Uh, but this is a super solution. And, uh, you know, Tesla charging equipment is always highly rated here. It's always at the top of my ratings. And to see something like this come out, I know the third party companies are gonna look at this and say, oh God, now, how are we gonna compete with this? And, uh, you know, I mean, Tesla does a lot of things right. First of all, it, they're UL listed, all Tesla charging equipment. They come with a four year warranty. Most, all of the other charging equipment just comes with a three year warranty, some less. I, I talk about that a lot when I do my reviews because I think the warranties are really important. It kind of tells you how much confidence the company has in its charging equipment. Tesla's charging equipment all comes with four year warranties, which is longer than what just about every other charger comes with. This unit can also power share. It can power share amongst six units. So while you might not need six units at your house, you might need two. You can use one 60 amp power feed to power two of these. Then you don't have to worry about using the NACs for one vehicle and the adapter for the other. You can have your designated chargers, but you could share one power feed. And that's gonna save you a lot of money because you don't have to then pull another 60 amp feed if you wanna deliver 48 amps. That might require you to do a service upgrade at your house, which is many thousands of dollars. Uh, they come with uh, 24 foot long cables, which is a nice long cable. It's a complete package. Um, you know, I know I'm gushing a little bit over this, but uh, the Tesla charging equipment is always fantastic. And with this really cool solution here, I think uh, a lot of people are gonna go for this. I could see this jumping out and being the number one selling level two charger almost immediately because it just eliminates the issue. You don't have to worry about down the road, wh which plug am I going to, is, is the EV that I'm going to buy have? Is it going to have a J1772? Is it going to have NAX? Because you know, not all of the automakers are going to phase in the NAX at the same time frame. And some automakers, and I talked to Ford recently about this, not all of their EVs are going to automatically just come with the NAX connector in 2025. It's going to take a few years for them to blend in to the NAX connector to all of their EVs. So we're looking at, you know, a minimum of five to seven years before all new EVs come standard with the NAX connector. So there's gonna be a big period with millions of EVs on the road that use both J1772 and NAX. And this new universal wall connector solves that problem for all of the customers. I don't have pricing yet. I'm waiting to hear on that from Tesla. This was supposed to launch today at Best Buy and at the Tesla shop. And uh, that's why it was embargoed until today. I wasn't allowed to talk about it until today. But now I just checked online. It's not listed yet at, on either of those sites. So I'm not sure exactly what's going on with that. Perhaps by the time I publish this video, the pricing will be available. But right now I don't have that. And I want to get this news out as soon as possible. So I'm doing this video as quickly as I can. You're going to get a full review on this uh, in about two, two and a half weeks. Because as I said, my reviews take me two, two and a half weeks. I don't just plug things in and say, oh yeah, this is great. Look, it delivers 48 amps. I beat the hell out of them. I flood them with water. I have a new test now where we're gonna be baking them with a heat lamp to do a heat simulation. Uh, I deep freeze the cables. You know, if you watch my reviews, we really try to test out all the functionality and make sure that the units are built well and robust before you spend your hard earned money on them. Now, as far as pricing, as I said, we don't know it yet, but to give you some type of a parameter of where we're at, the Tesla wall connector sells for $475. The Tesla wall connector with the J1772 plug sells for $550. So I can't imagine this being less than the Tesla wall connector with the J plug. Um, guessing $599? Even at that price, it's a really good deal considering what you get here that it's a top rated charger and it can charge any electric vehicle sold today in North America. So I wanted to try one last thing before I gave up on powering this up today. The Tesla wall connectors, the way you install them is you mount the, uh, the mounting bracket to the wall and you wire this unit up. You then just literally snap this into it and screw it into the mounting plate. So I thought maybe I could just take this off the wall and then snap this into place and it's working. 
However, so I opened up the box of the Tesla wall connector I have here that I haven't installed yet. And here's the mounting plate. Take a look at the mounting plate for the new universal wall connector. It's not the same. The base is the same. Everything's the same. It looks like except for this here. Because this unit is so deep, look at this connector here, how deep it is to snap in and power up the unit compared to the uh, other Tesla wall connector. So that's not gonna work. You're gonna have to wait till I do my full review to power this thing up, which should be about two and a half weeks. We do our comprehensive reviews here. It takes me a while to do those. Um, and uh, you're gonna get that probably in about two and a half weeks. But I just wanted to show everybody this new uh, unit here. And um, Tesla was kind enough to ship it to me. I think I might be the only person they shipped it to uh, because it's brand new. I don't think anybody really knows about this. This is probably the first video you're gonna see on this. So we'll do a full comprehensive review on that soon. Now, uh, the second thing I wanna mention, if you remember when Tesla launched the Gen 3 wall connector, which I have on the wall here, they, um, it's a Wi-Fi connected smart charger, but it really doesn't have much uh, Wi-Fi or smart charging uh, capability. And that's because Tesla never really worked on the app so that you can uh, control the unit through the app. With the release of this new unit now, Tesla has announced that very soon in, in uh, you know, very short order they're talking about, within weeks, they're gonna have that app working and it's gonna work on all Tesla wall connectors, even the, the previous ones, that you'll be able to pair your uh, charger to the app and control it, schedule charging, do things like that. Now I know Tesla didn't seem like there were any rush to do that previously because the car, the Tesla vehicles can do that in the vehicle. But now that this universal wall connector is going out, they're gonna be, you're gonna be using this to charge all different types of EVs. It's kind of more important for them to make sure that if you buy this unit, you can control your charging through the app. So they're gonna be launching that really soon. I don't know all of the features that's gonna have, but hopefully by the time I have this installed and do my review, the app will be working and I'll be able to do a full review of the app. If not, We'll do the review of this and then a follow-up review showing what the features are of this new Tesla app. Listen, if this is your first time here at State of Charge, please don't forget, click that subscribe button, ring the notification bell, give me a like on this video, all that good stuff, so you don't miss any upcoming electric vehicle news and reviews. And as always, thanks for watching.